Hi, Allison Nance? Yes. I'm Detective Russell. I have a few questions for you about the Cullen family. Better come in. I already went over your statement with Sergeant Walters, but I do need a little more clarification on some of your answers. I don't see how I can be of help, but I'll try. How long have you worked as a babysitter for the Cullen family? Um, over two years, I think. They seemed really nice at first. Uh, always paid me well and were quite flexible with my schedule. Did you notice anything strange while in their employment? What do you mean? Did Jim and Sarah Cullen ever have altercations? Sometimes, I guess. Nothing violent, though. Um, but some nights I could hear some raised voices coming through the wall. What were they arguing about? Well, they were both working a lot, so they weren't spending much time with Danny. And he just turned nine, correct? That's right. I know this is hard, but we need to go over what happened on the day of the murders. Take your time and tell me as much as you can. Okay, um, I showed up at the house around 7 a.m. I rang the doorbell, but noticed that the door was already open. When I came inside, the house was a mess. Things were tossed all over the floor. I, um, uh, I heard a sound coming from the kitchen. That's when I saw Jim and Sarah lying on the floor. Jim wasn't moving, but Sarah, she... She crawled towards me. And what happened next? I called 911 and stayed with Sarah for as long as I could, but... She died shortly after? Yes. Allison, we did an inventory check for any items of value and nothing was missing. Also, there were no signs of forced entry. The gun that was used in the shooting was a Ruger Security 9 registered in Jim Cullen's name. What are you saying? You don't need to cover for him, okay? Who? Danny. What? No, no, no. He couldn't have done it. It must have been an accident or something. There's no way that little boy could have done something like this. The Cullens had a 24-hour surveillance camera hooked up to a laptop in the study. From the footage we saw, you staged it to look like a break-in and hid the gun in the bushes. We even got a partial fingerprint off the slide of the pistol that matched back to Danny. I didn't know what to do. He's only nine years old. He didn't mean to do it. There's no way he would do something like this on purpose. We checked him over and there are clear signs of physical abuse, most likely from Jim. My guess is he just had enough. Oh my God. I had no idea. What's going to happen to him? We'll see where the investigation takes us, but in all likelihood, he'll be put on probation. Therapy and counseling will also be needed. He's been through a lot. Please go easy on him. He doesn't deserve to be punished. They were neglecting and abusing him. I was the only one he could talk to, but never put it together. The cuts, the bruises, they weren't from fighting at school. His father did that to him. And Sarah, she, she just let that happen. Well, he doesn't need to worry about that anymore. Thank God. <laughs>